Good morning and welcome back to WKNI TV 25, folks. And I'll tell you, we I told you we had a treat. And uh, I got a double treat for you this morning. And uh, we're going to have some fun with it. So let's enjoy it. But uh, we got our Sheriff Meeks, Dennis Meeks, is here this morning with us to talk about this program that they've got coming up on this uh, Friday. And, uh, Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday, okay. And, uh, we're going to talk a lot about that because that's a great program from mm -hmm. what I read online about it. And uh, it's kind of neat. And and then, then we have Mr. Meeks. Uh, and they don't look alike. I'm telling you. Um, Be careful where you go. I, I got to. I mean, is this your little brother? <laughs> <laughs> At least he's got color. Well, I got oh, color. Wow. Well, gray? That's a color. It's, it's it, lack it, of color. <laughs> Absence of you're color. You're not far behind. Uh, yeah, I don't. But anyway, uh, glad to have you on, Sheriff. As always, a pleasure to have you. Mr. Meeks, welcome. Uh, unfortunately, you're sitting between the two of us, and that could not be a good thing for you, I can tell you. Uh, things have a way of happening on this show when Sheriff Meeks is around, and uh, uh, sitting between us could be a... a uh, Challenge. Yes, it can be. Oh, you're sitting directly across from me, too. I don't have to do this. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. Yeah. See? Not a good thing. I'm out of the day. Boy, he can like that, straight across <laughs> the table. But anyway, <clears throat> Sheriff, real quick, how's it going over there at the uh, Sheriff's office? Going good. Did you, know, you notice just, how uh, I said that? Sheriff's I did. Office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You cut yourself that time. Uh, no, no, it, it's, it's good. You know, just uh, uh, everyday business. Well, I noticed, and I, I want to talk to you real quick about the jail, real quick, and, and how that's come up. Mm -hmm. We had over two. First off, that jail is only made for how many? 180. 180. Um, and then you've got the extra building on the outside, or does that include the. That includes that. All right. Mm -hmm. And we were getting up there. Yeah. Uh, two, two, 210, 12. I think it was. 12. Yeah, 210, yes. 212. Yeah. 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 And today, we, yeah, just had just had kind of a, you know, and it happens. Uh, you know, we, we get an influx, something happens, we get an influx, you know, we get them in there. But usually, it, it's stuff that they they bond back right. out, you know, pretty quick. So, you know, they come in, number jumps up, but they bond out, and, and we and numbers go back down. So, it's it. You still need to have the personnel. You got great personnel over there yeah. in in. Uh, uh, the deputies out on the road. I, I don't think I could say there's higher law enforcement out on the streets. And, and I, I've, I've got probably the the best group now that uh, uh, that I've had. Uh, you still carrying Teddy Ray? Yeah, uh, Teddy Ray is. Uh, he, he's got a lot going on right now. The, yeah. what, what all the investigators do. But uh, he, he's he's real busy. Right all now. that cold case secret stuff that you can read about in the newspaper. But. Uh, <laughs> No comment. <laughs> anyway, um, strange things happen the year before elections. Certain things just pop right out there and become an issue and right along. But anyway, yeah. you're not running for office. Yeah, you are next year. Next year. Yeah, okay. Uh, what are you going to come up with? Mm, nothing, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't going to have no opposition. Well... Never know. Anyway, all right. Well, glad to have you on. Glad to pick on you. I, this is the only place I can do it because if I'm not in here, I'll be in cuffs out the door, baby. Going down, <laughs> have my hot dog and eat French fries. <laughs> so, I heard deep meals got better over there. Meals have always been good. Yeah, yeah. Got a professional cook over there. We do. <laughs> we do right now. Yeah, well, you're going to lose them this week, though. Yeah, I, I, yeah, about yeah. another week. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully you don't return. Well, you never know. He said he wouldn't return last time. We'll see. There you go. And Preston's doing a great job over there as well. He is. Uh, anyway, just wanted to say all that and give my kudos to everybody over there. Mr. Meeks, welcome to WKNI TV 25. Uh, Sheriff Meeks said you want, or he felt more comfortable with you being the spokesperson for this event. Tell us, what is this event? Um, this event is the Alabama Law Enforcement Torch Run. Um, this is the 28th year for the Alabama Law Enforcement Torch Run, and the cops on top that we will, the sheriff will be hosting this weekend at um, Walmart in Andalusia, um, will be one of about 27 different agencies with, throughout the state of Alabama that will be on Walmarts and Chick-fil-A's 
um, and we just ask that people come out and um, drop us any change or donations in buckets. We'll have uniformed police officers um, standing at the entrances to Walmart taking donations for Special Olympics Alabama. Well, that's great. And, and uh, <coughs> just yesterday we had Miracle League uh, representative on, mm -hmm. Jill uh, Metcalf, and uh, we we're talking about Miracle League and how it is for the special needs children. And here we go again. Uh, something great coming up this Friday, Friday and Saturday mm -hmm. yeah. uh, for the children uh, that have those special needs. Uh, I didn't know the number was so high, Sheriff, in this county uh, with special needs children. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Metcalf mentioned yesterday that there's over 500 children in this community that have special needs. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the, it was just a number that I was like, no way. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's not there. Uh, but it is, and it's it's fortunate, not fortunate, fortunate because these children are special blessings. I mean, you know, I've worked with special needs children before and, and uh, done the Special Olympics before and, and as a volunteer, and to see these children, you know, when they get out there and, and, and get that, I don't care if they run 10 feet, mm -hmm. okay, they're a winner, yep. okay? I don't care if they, you know, whatever event they're in, they, they get to participate, or they don't have to really, but they can participate, and when they do, you can, it's just a very emotionally charged moment, mm -hmm. not just for that child, but for whoever's there with them, mm -hmm. and uh, so, where's all this, where's this money go to? I know it's going to be, you know, for the special needs, but we're going to collect it when, or on Friday and Saturday at Walmart, then the money gets collected, where does it go? It goes to Special Olympics Alabama, uh, which is located in Montgomery. Um, and it disperses funds throughout the state of Alabama to all the different agencies. Um, there's a process to where each county or division of Special Olympics, whether it be um, Andalusia City Schools, Covington County Schools, uh, Board of Education, or whomever, they would go through a process to request funding from Special Olympics Alabama. And that is going to be like for this area as well. I mean, when you say spread out through all over. Now, what is the Special Olympics? Well, the Special Olympics is um, it's an organization that, that helps um, children and adults with intellectual disabilities um, to compete throughout the year, training and compete. And then it's kind of set up like the Olympics as we know, to where uh, throughout the year they qualify in local county games and then Troy University is the host um, campus for the state games, which will be coming up um, second week, third week of May, where all the athletes throughout the state will come there as one um, and compete at the state level. And then the actual torch run itself will start up in Huntsville with the Flame of Hope. Um, there will be police officers from throughout the state that will start running the torch from Huntsville and run it into the stadium at Troy and we'll light the cauldron on the night of the opening ceremonies with an athlete. Now every year it's a different host or is it? No, Troy has become the home host um, for the state games. Um, cool. In the past it had been that way but I think we're going on like five years. This is the 28th year of the Alabama Law Enforcement Torch Run so um, but we've been <coughs> in Troy for about five or six years now. And how many years has the Sheriff's Department been involved in this here locally? I can answer that. Um, it, it's um, This was the first time that Covington County has participated in the law enforcement torch run um, that I'm aware of. Um, the sheriff called me and um, wanted to put this event, wanted to join other departments um, in putting this event on. And I'm a reserve with Covington County Sheriff's Department. I'm originally from Andalusia. so. Um, I thought, you know, it'd be great to come home and do this, and um, and we're looking forward to it. And you're really not related? No, sir. Smile. It's close. It really is. It, it's close. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a neat thing, and it's great that the sheriff, uh, that you've taken this on, you know, this year, and, and hopefully it'll be carried on, yeah. you know, for years and later. Well, you know, and it's something that, that we plan on making uh, an annual event. You know, this is a, this is our first year. <clears throat> you know, we hope it goes well. Uh, it, it's it's going to be uh, uh, this weekend. Really, be a, a learning process for us. But uh, you know, we hope to make it uh, an annual event. 
and uh, you know, in, in, in each year, you know, we hope to to get bigger and better. Well, sure. <clears throat> Got to ask you, what, you've been around for a while. What brought this to your attention? Well, uh, you know, like, you know, Randy has been involved with it, you know, for for a good long while now, and uh, and so it, it just uh, you know it's just something that we need to get in, involved with. Uh, you know, it, it's a uh, law enforcement torch run, uh, so you know uh, we we need to be a part of it. Well. And that's that's done by. Uh, I, I get confused. I'm going to go share Meeks to him. Then you're going to get mad Just at. Just call me Randy. Randy. Okay. <laughs> Randy. Uh, the deputies themselves, or the law enforcement agencies themselves, actually run the torch. Correct. And they're given an escort, and they're from county to county, like. Correct. Okay. And this takes off when? The actual torch run is in the second week of May, um, and like I said. Our, our districts with the torch run is kind of broken down with the U.S. Attorney's District, uh, Central, Southern, Northern, Middle. Right. And so we have an actual state director for the torch run, and his name is Lieutenant Theo Smith with the Birmingham Police Department. And then we have regional directors. Um, the regional director for Covington County is out of Foley Police <coughs> Department. Um, and then we have a regional director that's in Pelham, and then we have a regional director that is with the FBI in Decatur. So uh, we have regional directors as well as the state director. And uh, wow, this is great. 28 years this has been going on and it's the first time I've heard of it. And I know of the Special Olympics. I, I knew that you know certain things happened with that around the area, but uh, I wasn't aware of this and this is very cool. Um, Sheriff, are, are your men, you say you're gonna man them out there at the, from what hours? Uh, Friday, uh, we're gonna start around nine o'clock. Uh, that, that morning and we'll go to uh, 9 or 10 o'clock that night and then uh, Saturday uh, you know we're going to start uh, probably 6, 7 o'clock that morning and go to probably around 6 that afternoon. And all these funds are turned over to the organization and then they disperse them throughout the area to that district or to the entire? It's, it's based upon what is requested through the state. Okay so it's it's not just here, but it could be everywhere. Correct. Okay. Correct. All righty. And uh, you, do you need any volunteers, or is this strictly? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you, you know, we, we have our our folks uh, that uh, you know that, that aren't on their normal work schedule. Uh, you know, the deputies, uh, uh, the, the folks from the jail, and then we've got the uh, uh, posse and reserves. We'll have uh, both of, of uh, uh, members from both of those uh, units out there. So. Uh, you know, we're right now, uh, you know, we're looking like, you know, we got uh, plenty of folks, you know, to work it. And, uh, and we, hey, we just uh, hope that everybody that comes through Walmart Friday and just Saturday. Just need to loosen the change. Just, just, just drop, drop some, uh, drop some uh, paper in, in a bucket. There you, you know, go. We're, 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 okay, hey, so we're, we're, paper or change. Hey, we're, we're, we'll, we'll the take change. the change. He's going, he's yeah. going we'll, the, we'll take the change, but we really like the paper. I'm telling you. Paper I, adds I, up. I hear, I hear where you Paper going. adds up. It sure does. <laughs> Well, Sheriff, we're going to take a quick commercial break, Randy, and uh, we appreciate you coming on. But due to current events going on in the, in the area, you know, right now, I'd like to ask you a few questions and talk to you about some things that are happening uh, around. And, okay. and uh, you know, not so much local, but how we handle it locally. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, what I think, you, you know, I'm talking about is what mm -hmm. happened yesterday in, in Boston and, mm -hmm. and uh, get some... You know, you can sit in here and talk about it if you want to. Do you want to? I think it's a yeah. great idea. Yeah, he'll be here. <laughs> okay. We'll be back with more right after these messages. Welcome back. To Good morning, and welcome back to WKNI TV 25. Folks, you know Sheriff Meeks here is we're not going to have a smooth show. It's going to go rippity, rippity, rip. Anyhow, seriously. Uh, yesterday there was a tragic <coughs> incident that happened in Boston. Uh, crowd gathered. Somebody mm -hmm. planted bombs. Bombs went off. Uh, lots of media attention. Lots of you know, and, and notably deserved media mm -hmm. attention. Uh, maybe a little bit of overkill on, on some of it, where they keep playing the same thing over and over again. Um, that's not just a problem for a big city. That's not a, or should I say, concern. For mm -hmm. a big city, that's a concern for a community such as ours as well. Is that correct? Oh, it, it could be. You know, any time that uh, that you have, uh, you know, a large gathering, 
uh, you know, sports event or whatever uh, it, it might be. You know, it, it could always be a concern. Sheriff, with all the technology, everything that we have in our, you know, hands to do things with, can we not prevent this type of thing? I mean, is there any way we can just say, hey, look, we know that's going to happen and stop it? I, I, I wouldn't think so. Cause, you know, uh, you know the, the guys or girls, whatever the case may be, that are out there that, you know, have in their mind that they're going to do something, uh, you know, they're, they're going to find a way to do it. Uh, you know, regardless of, of the, uh, I think, regardless of the measures that are, are put in place and, and as, uh, as vigilant as, as uh, law enforcement and security is to keep things safe, uh, you know, there's always somebody out there that's going to find a way around it. Well, Sheriff, just this past week, oh, well, past several weeks, we had obviously uh, in, in December we had the shooting at uh, 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 Sandy Home School, or mm -hmm. New Home. Uh, Sandy Hook, Elementary. Sandy Hook, I'm sorry. What's that? Newtown. 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 There Newtown. we go. Uh, and that really got everybody's attention, mm -hmm. and, and it really is a bad situation. Um, and then we went focused on gun control, okay? And, and it's the gun, it's the gun, it's the gun. Mm -hmm. Last week we had a young man take a exacto knife. knife, which is used for hobbies. That's right. And, and wounded, seriously injured. Mm -hmm. uh, 14, 15 people right. in, in, a, in a setting right. in a university. Well, and, and, and again, it just goes back to, to what I, I just uh, said and, and, and what we were talking about. If somebody wants to do something, you know, they're going to find a way around it. They're going to find a way to do it. Well, <clears throat> is there anything we can do here locally as far as keeping the eyes out or, or being vigilant? In, in mm -hmm. Well, you, you just always want to be, uh, uh, you know, aware of your surroundings. You know, if, if anybody, you know, sees anything or notices anything, you know, out of the ordinary, that, you know, that doesn't look right, uh, you know, uh, contact law enforcement. Uh, uh, you know, if, if you're at, at, at Walmart, uh, you know, and you see something that's just not right, you know, contact their, their security there. Uh, A lot of folks during the Sandy, uh, I'm sorry. Sandy Hook. Sandy Hook. I'm bad with, well, you know that. But, uh, but you can remember Teddy Ray's name. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> He's got your number, buddy. I'm telling you. He, yeah, we can talk about Teddy Ray. <laughs> but uh, anyway, <laughs> a lot of people know that, that or on these past incidences, quit looking up there, these past incidents that uh, somebody said something, the, the perpetrator said something to somebody like they were going to do it or they were going to, you know, uh, dislike somebody or they're going to mm -hmm. kill somebody. Uh, if they hear this in, in, in their relative or somebody standing around, what 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 option? I mean, they're going to be a a, a snitch, okay? Mm -hmm. And their family member is going to hate them, or or their neighbor is going to hate them. The guy in, in in Midland, okay, talked about doing that for months and months and mm -hmm. months, and and nobody done anything about mm -hmm. it. If I went to you and said, Sheriff, I heard so and so in Walmart. Yeah. saying that, you know, they were going to do this, this, and this, mm -hmm. okay, do you have an option? Sure, sure. You know, that, uh, you know, we uh, call that person in, uh, and, uh, you know, we, we need to sit down and talk with them uh, and, and see what's going on. Uh, you know, just from talking with them, uh, you know, we can, uh, you know, get some idea of, uh, uh, you know, their demeanor and, and, and hopefully their thoughts and, uh, and, and uh, make some... Uh, corrective actions there on, on their part, you know, and, and talk to their family. You know, it, it may be a situation where their family needs to take some action also. Well, Sheriff, we appreciate <coughs> you coming on and talking. Thank we know you. you're up against the schedule and you got to get on down the road. And uh, Mr. Randy Meeks, I appreciate you coming on. Thank you. You do look a lot like Teddy Ray. Do I? Yes. <laughs> and uh, uh, <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. <coughs> will you? Really? Will. We're out of here. Uh, what do you got to say? Keep it real. Keep God in it, folks. We love y'all. Be careful out there. Keep Boston. Yes. Come see us Saturday. Friday, oh, yeah. Saturday. Run that over real quick. What times and where? where? Uh, Friday morning. We're going to start uh, about 9 o'clock. Uh, be there for about 12 hours. Uh, Saturday morning, we'll start uh, probably around 6, 7 o'clock and run for about 12 hours. Sheriff, we appreciate what you're doing for the community and for the special needs as well. Yeah. 
Randy, thank you for having <coughs> this concern as well and, and bringing it to our station and letting us share it. Thanks. Folks, thank you, God bless you. We'll be back with more right after this.